Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to control Android volume levels on a per app basis. Now I'm sure most of you guys have a wide variety of apps installed on your phones. For instance, you may have the YouTube app sitting right next to a game in your app drawer. But the problem is you probably want to have the sound turned up so you can listen to your videos. So every time you launch the YouTube app, you got to turn the volume up. And then when you switch over to the game, game sounds are annoying, so you gotta turn the volume right back down. So if you're tired of juggling with volume levels, a new app called App Volume Control has you covered. It basically lets you choose the volume levels for each app on your phone, and it's available for free on the Google Play Store. So search the app by name to get it installed, or you can head to my full tutorial on Gadget Hacks to get a direct download link. But when you first launch App Volume Control, there's a little bit of setup you'll need to take care of. Start by tapping this button in the middle of the screen, then you'll be taken to an Android Settings menu. From here, choose the App Volume Control service, then toggle the switch at the top of the screen to On, and press OK to enable the app's accessibility plugin. After that, just back out to App Volume Control, and now you'll see a list of all your installed apps. If you'd like to set the individual volume level for one of these apps, just tap its entry in the list, and then you'll be taken to the volume control page. From here, you'll see five volume categories, media, ringtone, alarm, notification, and system. To adjust one of these, simply toggle the switch to on, then use the slider beneath it to set your preferred volume level. You can do the same for as many of these options as you'd like. And on top of that, if you head to the second tab here, you can change your volume level settings when the app is closed. By default, all these are set to restore the old volume when you exit the app but you can set it to a different level if you'd like. When you're done there though, make sure to tap the save button at the top of the screen. And from now on, anytime you use that app, your volume level will automatically be set to what you chose. You'll see a little toast message at the top of the screen letting you know the volume was changed. But to me, that was kind of annoying. So if you'd like to change it, go ahead and tap the settings button at the top of the screen. From here, you can disable the notifications. And from now on, your volume level will change automatically and silently anytime you're using one of those apps. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.